Hello everybody and welcome back for another plan with me video. This week we are planning for the week, or not planning, memory keeping for the week of October 4th through the 10th and I used leftovers this week from a kit called Bonfire from Cinderella Paper. I used this kit last year in October and was left with a bunch of full boxes that I didn't really care for so I really only used one of the leftover fashion girls from this kit the one that I liked and I thought looked good. The other ones gave me weird Kate Goslin vibes and I was not about to put that in my planner. So I brought in a couple of samplers, freebie samplers from other shops that had full boxes that could have matched. So I pulled in some of those as well as these girls from Oh Hello Co that remind me of myself. They look a lot like me, which is very weird. It wasn't planned and uh, wearing fall outfits, especially in colors that I really like. So that's how I kind of made up for the fact that I didn't have a lot of full box options because my leftover full boxes, I just were not was not feeling them. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my leftover glitter headers and then just jump right into the week. So this week I didn't have my normal classes. Instead, I took all of my class time and used it to meet with each of my students one-on-one. -on -one. I really like doing this. This is a big not a big part, but like one philosophy behind teaching writing in college is taking that time to meet with your students one-on-one -on -one to work on their writing individually. So I'm glad that I get the opportunity to do that. So I marked every occurrence of that with these fox and cactus glasses wearing girls. My kitty, what's wrong? I'm pretty sure my darling cat was trying to cough up a hairball, sorry. Uh, what happened on Monday, though, was that the fire alarm kept going off in the building where my office was. So the first occurrence of that I marked with this Once More With Love sticker. The second occurrence I marked uh, a couple hours later with a Molly from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. So, yeah, two times my conferences with my students were interrupted by a fire alarm. The first time we walked down into the lobby and... Uh, yeah, there was definitely some sort of plastic, acrid, smoky smell because, like, I think some refrigerator in the convenience store downstairs was on the fritz, and then I don't know what happened the second time the fire alarm went off. But uh, I'm not going to say exactly what floor of the building I am on just for security reasons, but uh, I'm very high up in a particular building, and so when you can't take the elevators and you have to take the stairs down multiple times uh, and then back up multiple times in a day, it's quite a lot of stair climbing. Anyway, that was Monday. More chaotic than I wanted. Uh, this was also the day that Facebook and Instagram went down. Now, I was in the midst of my building being constantly evacuated and trying to communicate with my students where to find me, uh, so I did not see a lot or deal with a lot of the Facebook Instagram outage of October 4th. Uh, however, it fritzed with... fritzed? I don't know if that's the word. <laughs> It messed with Facebook Messenger, which is how I communicate with my boyfriend. It's just the easiest way for us to communicate. So he didn't hear about my building evacuations until many, many hours later. So that was the one way it affected me. Other than that, I was working that day, so I didn't pay that much attention to that. After all of that chaos, uh, I went to McDonald's because McDonald's is my uh, where I go when I just absolutely am over it. Uh, I used a Molly Goes to Disney to mark that because they had Disney World toys in there. I got Pluto, wasn't super excited about it. I'll probably give it away at some point. I'm not that into Disney, uh, but I really just wanted a Happy Meal. <laughs> Then I put in a work label from the kit and a checklist from the kit to mark stuff for my other job. I brought in the meal labels at the end of the day, so there's that. And then there was a thunderstorm this evening. So October the 4th was quite eventful. I did not bargain for that, but that's what happened. So I have a scaredy cat Molly from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. And then on Tuesday, I woke up really early in the morning. I was awake from 4 to 6 a.m., so there's a Molly for that. I did a bunch of grading, so there's a Molly for that. I had more meetings with my students, so there's a fox and cactus sticker for that. Uh, I marked that we had chicken salad for dinner. Chicken avocado salad, I should say. And then we marked tasting history at the bottom of the day, so I used little things from the kit. Wednesday was my mom's birthday, so I have a Molly birthday sticker for that. I had more meetings with my students, so you're going to see another glitter label and a fox and cactus sticker for that. 
Then I had my office hour after that, so I brought in a little thing with an alarm clock from the kit. And then I worked my second job, so another work label and a checklist after that. I've just been using checklists for things related to my second job because it's just the easiest way to mark the amount of time I spend on that and to put in all of the little things that I don't necessarily want to put on separate labels. I don't know why it's taking me so long to put down this checklist, honestly, but that's fine. I love the, the green and the orange in this kit, it's so pretty. After work, I called my mom to wish her a happy birthday, so there's a phone call sticker from Cinderella Paper. Wednesdays are my longest days, so I called her much later in the day than I would like to. Then I marked dinner with a little thing, so we had pork chops and beans that night. My cat decided to cuddle with me this particular evening, which was very nice of her. It was cooler weather this week, so she tends to be more cuddly during that. So uh, after dinner, I'm going to put in a Molly from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. to mark kitty cuddles. And then I put in a TV little thing to mark watching Catch Up with Max and Jose from Tasting History with Max Miller. So I was just catching up on episodes that I hadn't watched since the summer. It's kind of their behind the scenes version of the show. Thursday, I was in a mood. I don't really know why. Oh, actually, no, I totally know why. Um, I don't know. I had a, this is probably too much information, but like I was PMSing really bad uh, this time around. I don't know why. I think just because I'm stressed in general, so it's just aggravating everything else. So I have a grumpy Molly for that. And then I put in a glitter half box and a Molly for more grading and a little thing for my office hour, and then another fox and cactus girl wearing glasses with a glitter label for more one-on-one -on -one meetings with my students. That was my Monday through Friday, just meeting one-on-one -on -one with every single one of my students. It's nice, like you see a different side of them when you're meeting with them one-on-one, -on -one, so I really love doing it. It reminds me of being a writing tutor, so I love that I can work it into my syllabus. Then I went and got a car wash for the first time in a million years because I'm gross. And so that car sticker is from Oh Hello. And I put gas in my car. So that gas sticker is from Planting Roses from a million years ago. Um, yeah, I don't normally let my gas tank hit almost empty, but I don't drive very much right now. I mean, I do drive every day, but I don't drive very far. So it takes a long time to run out of gas, which I'm lucky for because gas is very expensive right now. But yeah, finally put gas in my car. Then I put in a full box from that freebie sampler that I think was from Beautiful Mess Plans Co. I thought about putting one of the girls over that full box, but honestly, I just decided to leave it as it was because I was happy with it. And then I filled in with dinner. Oh, Nathan had a late meeting this day, so I made myself mac and I made us mac and cheese like out of the box. Uh, not Nathan's favorite thing, but I was having a day was in a mood, so it felt good to me. <laughs> and then I marked that I watched more Catch Up with Max and Jose on the television. Friday was one of my paydays, so I marked that with a little thing from the kit. It was a nice rainy day this particular day, so we had our thunderstorm on Monday, uh, and then it was kind of clear for the next few days, and then we had a rainy day on Friday, so that sticker is from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. I feel like it really only rains like in the evening and in the morning here. I don't know why I feel that way, but like sometimes it rains during the day, but not often. Uh, Nathan had to go to the ER this day, so that sticker is from the Prairie Planner from a kit I used a few weeks ago. I had more one-on-one -on -one meetings with my students, so another Fox and Cactus girl. I was already on campus by the time Nathan like was in really bad pain, so uh, his mom luckily could take him, but I told him, like, hey, I could have canceled if you really needed me to take you. Um, but he had worked it out already, and I was already gone from the house by the time he realized he needed to really get help. So um, it all worked out. It's fine now. Then I came home and worked my second job online, so another work label and a checklist for that. And then we got ramen 
this evening from a place called Copan Ramen. I think it's a chain in like the Southern California area. So it's pretty good. So that ramen sticker is from uh, the sticker party. Because it was a rainy day, I was in a mood for ramen. So I'm glad we got that. And then I'm gonna bring in a glitter half box and this sticker from Little Pencil Design that says Bread Week for watching Great British Bake Off. Uh, it was Bread Week in the tent. So that looks so cute. I love the little like wheat sticker for Bread Week. And then I wanted to mark that Max and Jose from Tasting History with Max Miller got married this day because I'm cheesy and when people who I like watching on TV or YouTube or whatever get married, I like marking it. So that ring sticker is from Plana Hannah. They got married in Hawaii, like a very small wedding. Um, obviously I was not there or anything because I don't know them in real life, but um, I saw it on Instagram. They're very cute. So two great cat dads and they're married now. And now I really want to go to Hawaii, but I'm not going for a while. Probably not until we really get COVID under control. Then on Saturday, I woke up and I really wanted to film a plan with me. So I filmed a plan with me for the week of September 20th. So that camcorder is from Planet Hannah. Uh, Nathan's uh, issue from the day prior resolved itself this day, thank goodness, because it was causing him a lot of pain. So I have a once more with love like party pop and munch again, because that we really were excited. <laughs> then I posted to Instagram, so that camera is from Planet Hannah. And I baked pumpkin muffins this day, so I have a once more love baking sticker. I don't, I think it's actually a cooking sticker, but it looked like baking to me. And then I was in another mood this day, so I put in an introvert sticker from Once More With Love. Um, we were planning to go out this night for our anniversary, but like I was feeling weird about it. I don't know why, I just was. But I took some time to read, so that sticker is from Fox and Cactus. I started reading Dune. Uh, have not read it since then. I just have not been in a reading mood lately, and that's a very long book, and I'm probably gonna watch the movie before I finish the book. I'm definitely gonna watch the movie before I finish the book, but I'm starting it. Nathan just read it, so we have it. I'm gonna read it. Then I'm gonna mess around with like the order of things that I put down on Saturday and pick up a bunch of stickers and be annoying, so bear with me. Uh, we went to a sushi restaurant for our anniversary this night, so that stickers from the sticker party. We were originally gonna go to Korean barbecue, but the wait time at the place was a long time, and plus like it was very crowded in there and I just did not feel comfy about it. So we saw a sushi restaurant next door and it looked like a little calmer atmosphere and I decided I wanted sushi. So we just switched gears and did sushi. Instead, we'll do Korean barbecue another time. Uh, I bring in a Fox and Cactus wine sticker because I had a nice glass of Chardonnay. Uh, we had a great chat over dinner and wine. So that was nice. And I brought in the date night sticker from the kit and I ended up putting that at the top because I needed to fit in the weekend banner somehow. Because the weekend banner was very pretty to me. Then at the top of Sunday, I marked that it was three weeks until Halloween with Molly carving a jack-o'-lantern. I played with my cat this morning, which I don't always mark every single day I play with her, but this day it felt special, so I put in a Molly for that. We went to Target to do a lot of shopping, like household supplies and some groceries because our Target has a great grocery section, in my opinion. Uh, I don't know where that grocery bag sticker's from. I put in one of these Oh Hello Girls to kind of fill up the space that I would normally take up with a full box. And I put in some washi to kind of cover up that last header. Then I pulled stickers for another plan with me. So I have a Molly from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. surrounded by stickers. And this evening we went and walked around the neighborhood and looked at really decorated houses for Halloween. It's one of my favorite things to do this time of year is see people decorating their houses. And some of the houses around us are really cute and go all out. So I have like this Haunted Mansion sticker from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. Okay, so then to finish out the spread, I went over to the sidebar and filled in with some washi and a dinner's header to go along with a weekly checklist. Uh, then I realized dinners made no sense because I already put my dinners along the end of each day with the little things. So later after this clip, I'll switch it out for a next week header. 
and just fill in some things that happened uh, each day the next week because that makes more sense than writing in dinners twice. Then I put in a half box and a page flag from the kit and I'm gonna bring in one of my scripts from Planahanna that's in gold foil. Uh, this one says, I am kind but not weak. And that finishes the week. I really like how it turned out. Uh, there you can see I filled in the next week section and I wrote everything in with my Papermate Inkjoy gel since this is on Cinderella Paper's matte paper. And then in a little bit, I'm going to show you what's left over from the kit. So there's still quite a bit of stickers left over from the kit. I don't know what I'll do with those. Sometimes I put them into like my multicolor collection so that everything's sorted by color. Sometimes, well, actually right now I have a huge backlog of sticker kits that I need to sort those into. I just have, I don't have the time right now to parse them all out, but yeah. Uh, not gonna use those full boxes again they just don't speak to me I did cut off like the floral part of that bonfire babe full box and put it in the sidebar but I, I didn't like the term bonfire babe it just sounded weird to me so yeah that is this week I hope you enjoyed I hope you're having a good week and I will talk to you next time bye